The life for women have changed radically over the past 20, 30 years. And women have achieved a great deal. And women have got more belief in themselves, but they don't yet seek and get political power. And that's essential, because it's politics which control the way a society is administered. And I'm afraid Irish women, perhaps a little bit more than most other women that I know anything of, are not as interested as they should be in seizing that political power. Without it, I'm afraid the big changes that are needed to have women foremost in our society won't happen. And it's not just because it would be better for women, it would be better for society in general. And it's essential. And um, how will it affect women in other spheres? Why is political power so particularly important? Well, I suppose nobody would ever move away from the fact that women's role in uh, humanity is to bear children. And without that, there'd be no society, good, bad or indifferent. That, so that is perhaps their principal role in physical way. And it's essential. And the work that women do, of course, for years was never regarded as being in any way economically interesting, let alone useful. And of course it is, without motherhood. Well, I mean, it's pointless to point out that we just would with no society. But given the fact that we are now in the 21st century in the midst of ordinary political progress, it's essential that women are part of that political group that's called the Parliament. Because unless they are there in that Parliament, nobody in the Parliament really knows what it's like to be a woman. This sounds a bit overemphasizing, but it's true. And the main role of women in a physical humanity development point of view is, of course, to be the key controllers, providers, carers of the new generation. And whether or not women have themselves children or not, or whether they are brilliant scientists or anything else, they must understand that the society they live in has to have respect for children, most of all, I would say. And they must have respect for parents, and particularly they must have respect for women. And it will not happen unless women are there as members of parliament. I do believe that, and I think that, in fact, no political party is going to really pay very much attention to the incredible contribution that women make through their family work unless women are there. People who experience, people who know whether or not they choose to work in the home or work outside it, they know because they were all children themselves. And do you think it has an influence on women getting into high office, say in business or well, in other spheres? Does. Of course it does. Because uh, I remember um, being at a, a careers meeting one time in uh, it was in Trinity College, and there were all about one of the people with degrees and all the rest of it. But I, I, when I asked the uh, recruiting person uh, what was the attitude to women, he immediately said, oh, well, of course, women wouldn't stay very long in the job because they would be leaving and blah, 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 you see. And I said, um, I questioned him on that. And the chair of this meeting said to me, uh, could I not have some sympathy for his uh, views? And I said, not any more than he has for mine. And you see, people forget that if you start to strangle, give out or try to restrict women's power to have children, you're actually kicking at the society you're talking about in the first place. It's, it's a kind of a, a circular problem. And unless women who know perfectly well the trials that beset a woman at the moment in high-ranking high jobs, whether it's in politics or in business, then of course they have no sympathy for their sisters. Therefore, of course, nothing happens. It is quite possible to make life arranged so that women could have very powerful jobs, both in business, travel, or in politics. But it's not done because it affects a power base which is there already traditionally. What do you think about the fact that 
the absence of women doesn't seem to perturb a lot of people. You know, like during this financial crisis, we've seen endless photographs of men, 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 and we've seen a lot of men in politics as well talking. And I know it, it does make me wonder, but I think I suppose once it changes, we'll say, "How in the name of goodness did people put up with it?" I mean, it's not very long in which I used to wilt every time I used to see labour labour force reports, and there was one section at the end which was very highly. Um, numbered by people in it and it was headed not economically active i.e. it was women who were married or who had children and stayed at home and we've now got rid of that we don't talk about women not being economically active in fact people are almost getting to the stage of despising women who are not in their terms economically active but of course women who don't actually go out for pay and stay at home and look after the home and look after children aren't economically active. They are providing something for society and there's just no respect for it. And I think it affects everything, including children's upbringing. What do you think we need to do to get political power for women? Just get out there and join. I suppose in a country like Ireland at the moment you would say join a political party. Though I would really say you don't have to be a politically party person. You have to be interested in politics and you have to realise that even the way the Dáil and its daily work or weekly work is controlled is not friendly to women. And until women themselves are there in the Parliament, it won't change because they're the ones who know what could be done and don't do it. And I'm afraid the fact that it's not puts them off. I mean, we've, we've seen politicians recently, uh, youngish women who are already elected, retire from uh, the dog when they have small children, which I can quite understand, though I regret that their influence will be there, unless they are really powerful, controlling members of political parties, I don't think there'll be a change. I think it's possible, because I think hum humanity is, has the ingenuity to look after it, but uh, I'm afraid we're in a, a bad state. It, things are not as bad as they were, say, when I was in my 30s and 40s, I mean, not so long ago really, people found it nonsense and uh, thought that there should be no question of um, maternity leave and uh, this was most unfair to men that women should get maternity leave, most unfair that say teachers had maternity leave, people could get, now they've accepted that as perfectly normal and so I think that if they could get used to the idea that Parliament should have arrangements whereby women can continue with their maternal roles as well as being politicians. And it will only happen when women break through yourself themselves. I, can't say, I mean, I'm not saying, no, I didn't do it, but I've never had any wish to be in politics really. But I do think that taking a look at how we would change society, it is basic. And I've never heard any great argument against it. Uh, in other countries, there have been some change, but certainly we are pretty much a disgrace. We have the lowest percentage of women in our parliament that I know of in Europe or in most, most parts of the world. We have had a situation whereby women have always, you could say, at school level, succeeded as well or better than their male counterparts, but they weren't taught the same subjects. Now, to a certain extent, that has been eroded and uh, they will be succeeding in maths and science and banking. And uh, it's a pity there weren't more women in banking, I think, before we came to our disasters, because I doubt if they'd have been quite so stupid as the men have been. But uh, they do need to be in politics. And there isn't much argument about it. You hear politicians saying they would like to see more women in politics, but unless political parties go out seeking, not women candidates first of all, they should go out seeking why won't, they want, should want to seek women and find out why they're not joining political parties, because we're all part of the same upbringing, same sort of expectations. And if men want to go into politics, how is it women don't? I don't understand, do you? And in terms, just to re re go back to what you had originally said as well about the progress that women have made. Mm -hmm. Can you just give